and welcome back to another episode of the Medical City South Luzon's Health Hour. So today we will be discussing about one of the most common cancers that is being experienced by women. So actually because it's Cervical Cancer Awareness Month this May, we will be talking about the important things that we women must know about cervical cancer. So with us today is one of our specialists in obstetrics and gynecology who is also sub-specializing in gynecologic oncology. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Dr. Ina Salas Diaz. Hi, Doc. Hi, Dr. Claudine. Thank you very much for inviting me and shedding light to our audience this afternoon. Yes, we are very interested to know more about cervical cancer because um, I guess people now have been so overwhelmed with the COVID the pandemic. So we are actually forgetting a lot of other diseases, especially for us women, right? Doc? So it's we true. are very much enthusiastic in celebrating May since it's Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. So we are very excited to know more about Cervical Cancer Awareness, Doc, especially that we want to share to everybody. Okay, yes, so uh, first of all, what is the cervix? The cervix is part of the uterus that juts out from the vagina. Okay. Okay. Ang, ano ba yung Tagalog word ng cervix? Kasi baka hindi rin uh, alam ng ma maraming tao, Doc. Okay. Yung uterus, ang tawag doon, matris. Nandun yung baby. So, oh. ang, ang cervix ay kwelyo na matris. Paano po ba siya nagsisimula, doktor? Or just an idea? Paano po ba nagsistart? Okay, sabi nila, mabagal. Mabagal ang growth ito from about uh, 3 years to 10 years. At ang cause mm -hmm. nito ay isang virus. Majority is caused by the human papilloma virus. Ah, so yung HPV. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay. So, once you say, doc, na it develops in a long span of time, mga gano ka early ang isang babae na magkaroon posible ng cervical cancer? Usually, after sexual intercourse, sexual intercourse exposes you to the human papilloma virus. It's something that can actually be uh, experienced at a very young age. Yes. Actually, so, isa sa risk factors yun eh. Kapag ikaw ay nakapagtalik, nang ikaw ay teenager, nagbuntis ng teenager, it's one of the risk factors of your uh, cervical cancer. Not to mm -hmm. mention, if you have uh, lots of children, tinataw namin ng multipara, right. uh, you have several sexual partners, or ang partner mo may partner na iba, right. Right. tapos ikaw ay nag-history ng uh, sexually transmitted diseases, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. naninigarilyo ka, if you're a smoker, mm -hmm. if you use um, oral contraceptive pills, mm -hmm. or if yung mother mo ay uminom ng pampakapit na tawag nilang diethyl silvestrol. Mm, okay. Sa lahat naman nabanggit ko, uh, risk factors yun. Yun ang nagpipredispose sa isang babae para magkaroon ng cervical cancer. Uh, ano po ba yung mga kadalasan nararamdaman? Ah, uh, okay. Initially, wala silang nararamdaman. Lalo na pagka early stage ng cervical cancer. No, yung nakikita pa lang sa microscope. Mm -hmm. Later on, ang usual na nararamdaman nila ay bleeding after sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, later on, lumalakas na yung bleeding. Mm -hmm. Or bleeding or vaginal discharge. Mm -hmm. no? Parating basa ang underwear. No? Mm -hmm. Kung hindi man yun, may babahong lumalabas sa underwear. Mm -hmm. Later na mapupunta yung uh, pelvic pain. No? Masakit ang balakang, masakit ang puson. No? Mm -hmm. uh, at a uh, later stage na yun, pag mga mm -hmm. stage 3 na o stage 4. Mm -hmm. May paraan po ba na malaman kung ikaw ay nagkakaroon na pala ng cervical, cervical cancer? cancer? Bukod po dun sa um, nasabi na natin earlier na risk factors, let's say for a woman who doesn't have any of the risk factors, or let's say, hindi talaga, walang ano, um, although may, ayun, may nasa adult age, sexual intercourse, act, uh, active, eh, sexually active, so may bang way for us to know kung we are actually do, you, do we have that already? Yes, yeah, so oh, uh, alam yan ng mga kapwa namin OB gyni, they perform a uh, pap smear. Pap no? smear. Okay. So pap smear, uh, may kukunin sample dun sa cervix mo and then titignan yan ng pathologist. Okay. Titignan kung may abnormalities yung mga cells na nakuha dun. Mm -hmm. no? Ang isa pa, yung latest, maganda yung HPV. 
HPV test. Sabi ko kanina, di ba? It's caused by the human papilloma virus. Right. And right now, because science is so advanced, makukuha mo na yung virus, yung DNA ng virus. Mm. So, ito ay sinasama na bilang uh, primary screening uh, tests para sa ating mga ah, patients. Okay. So, pero it's the same procedure, Doctor. It's yes. uh, parang pap smear lang, but it's an added um, test dun sa makukuhang sample. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Gano'ng kadalas po ba, Doktora, dapat nagpapa, nagpapascreen or nagpapapap smear ang isang babae? Ah, usually, sa mga walang high risk, no? mm -hmm. um, once you're sexually active, mm -hmm. pwede na. No? Mm -hmm. Pwede na magpascreen. Mm -hmm. Pero yung sinusundan natin ngayon, uh, ang American Cancer Society, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sabi nila, sa age 25, pwede na mag-start. 25. Mm -hmm. And then, Every year po ba yun? Or ano, um, every six months? Gano'n po kadalas? Ah, ang pap smear, kapag ka normal naman, mm -hmm. ang pap smear na lumabas, mm -hmm. no? Halimbawa, initially, na-test ka normal, susunod doon ay five years na. Ah, every five years. Okay. Pero, pag meron naman po tayong na-experience na symptoms, katulad ng mga nabanggit oh. niyo po kanina, ay pwede na rin po magpa-consult, magpa-consulta ko na. Magpa at matitingnan doon kung kinakailangan na po. Tama po, yes, no? Okay. Ito bang cervical cancer? Kasi alam natin, cancer parang hindi na talaga siya nagagamot, parang malubhang sakit siya, na parang yung iba, inisip nila parang wala nang, parang end of the, ano na, end of their life na. Ano po ba itong cervical cancer? Na, na igagamot po po ba ito? Oo, lalong-lalo na pagka nasa early stage ka, stage 1, ano, stage 2, pwedeng-pwedeng mm -hmm. mm -hmm. magamot yun agad. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, pagka maliliit pang cervical cancer, inooperahan sila. No? Mm -hmm. Magra-radical hysterectomy, tatanggalin mm -hmm. yung matris, mm -hmm. no? sa sample ng mga kukunin ng mga kulami, and mm -hmm. part of the upper vagina. Mm -hmm. no? Now, mm -hmm. depende sa laki ng bukol at kung affected ang mga kulami, mm -hmm. uh, magra-radiation sila at saka chemotherapy. Mm, so marami naman pa lang ano, marami. Maga, marami options depende nga po doon sa stage mm -hmm. tama ng mm -hmm. cancer. Hindi po ba nakakatakot kasi na banggit din doktora. I think yung mga kababaihan pag na pag na rinig kasi nila hysterectomy ganyan, matatakot na sila eh. Hindi kaya hindi ba nakakatakot yung doktora? Hindi naman, no? Hindi naman nakakatakot. Uh, make sure lang na since OBGYN naman ang gagawa okay. or ang um, gynecologic oncologist ang gagawa right. ng surgery okay. mo, ay you're in good hands. No? Right. Okay. So, uh, yun, magandang malaman natin na marami pa lang treatment options kasi ang importante din is para hindi din tayo pumunta dun sa the more complicated means of treatment. That's why we emphasize highly on screening because dun sa early stages pa lang, we can actually already get treated. Okay? Is there actually a way to prevent having cervical cancer? Yes, so they can prevent it by evaluating yourself. No, mm -hmm. alamin mo yung risk factors mo, mm -hmm. and once you're sexually active, kahit wala kang risk factors, it's very important. Na bumisita mm -hmm. sila sa OBGYN nila. Mm -hmm. At least all OBGYNs know how to do a Pap smear and right. do an HPV mm -hmm. test. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kung do sa mga bata naman, naririnig nyo yung HPV vaccination. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sa mga bata na mga age na to 26 years old, no? magandang mabakunahan sila for cervical cancer. Mm. Ito po bang vaccine is uh, during that age lang po siya pwedeng maano? For example, dun sa mga age 30, 40 above, hindi na po sila pwedeng mabakunahan? No? Actually, it's off-label. Okay. No? Uh, ang reason, kaya 9 to 26, yung mga napag- uh, subjects nila during their studies is 9 to 26 mm -hmm. years old. Konti lang ang subjects beyond that. Mm -hmm. Pero ayon sa latest findings, makakatulong ito sa mga um, older age group. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, maganda pala na nalaman natin there are so many things that somehow debunks our idea of cervical cancer because what we know now is that uh, cervical cancer is actually, number one, it's preventable. It's treatable and it can be detected early. So, uh, besides that, Doc, Berin, um, pa po ba kayong last uh, message or take away message for our watchers, po? 
Okay, so ang cervical cancer is just like infe an infection. It's caused by, uh, by a virus no? that it's slowly growing. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, dahil siguro sa kultura natin, nahihiya ang ating mga patients mm -hmm. na magpatingin and have a pap smear done or screening. Very mm -hmm. important ito, especially if you belong to the patients having the risk factors na dinescuss natin. Mm -hmm. No? And just visit your OBGYN and they will explain everything and do a pap smear and the HP. Okay, uh, before we end, so we would like to say thank you for your time, Doctor, and for sharing your knowledge. It's very important for us to know these things, kahit na um, in just a few minutes, marami na po kami natutunan. So thank you so much for your time. But if you guys want to know more about cervical cancer, I believe uh, Dr. Diaz has a webinar and she will be discussing more about Cervical yes. cancer? Cervical cancer screening, ano yung latest uh, findings, ano yung latest recommendations. No? Uh, that would be on May 31, uh, 7.30 in the evening. In the evening. And they can watch it over um, the Medical City Facebook page or via Zoom. So you can just check out our Facebook page to know how you can register. Okay? So thank you again, Doctora, so much. Thank you so thank much you. for having me. It's a pleasure. Yes, Doc. And thank you guys and keep safe. If you like this video, please follow our every page and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more health videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell.